Hey, what's happening guys? I've got another little oscillator circuit for you here today. And you guys could know by now, I love oscillators. They're probably my favorite circuits. And you know, the 555 is absolutely my favorite because it's the simplest way to do things. But you will find out if you watch this video that this is a pretty simple way to do things too. What we've got here is an op amp. In this case, I'm using a TL072, which is a dual op amp. I'm only using one side of it. This will work just as well with an LM741. Just can't find any this morning. <laughs> so you can see how simple it is. We have three resistors. This is R, R1, R2, and a capacitor. Now R goes between the output, which is pin one, and the inverting input, which is pin 2. This is our feedback resistor. R1 and R2 are set up as a voltage divider and feed over to our non-inverting input. So not only, what, not only have we created an oscillator here, by doing this voltage divider, we've created some hysteresis and therefore basically a Schmidt trigger oscillator made from an op amp. Now, before we play with the circuit, let me explain to you a little bit about how it works. So we've got resistors and capacitors. Therefore, we have an RC circuit. And the way that works, of course, is we'll say that's our, our zero volt line. Our capacitor charges, discharges, charges, discharges. You get the idea. The rate of this charging and discharging, this right here, is controlled by the resistor. Now, by creating that hysteresis in there with that voltage divider and the Schmidt trigger, we're taking that sawtooth waveform pattern and we're transforming it, transmorgifying it. Yeah, that's wrong, but whatever. Into a square wave. The frequency of which is equal to the inverse of 2 times RC. Are you with me so far? <laughs> Good. Oh, you know what? Before we get into that, let's talk about what we're using here. Uh, the TL072 pin 8 is VCC, pin 4 is negative VEE, Pin 1 is our output, pin 2 is our inverting input, and pin 3 is our non-inverting input. All right, now the circuit itself, which is relatively simple, nothing to be worried about. That's what I like. Are these, these circuits are so simple, but so useful. So we start with the heart of our circuit, which is our op amp, inverting, non-inverting, that goes up to VCC, that goes to negative VEE, and then this is our output. Our output, we have our resistor R that goes to our non-inverting input. Then we also have our capacitor C, which goes to ground. Then also, I guess I should have went further this way. From our output, we create our voltage divider that goes to ground, and we bring that around and connect it to the non-inverting input. Then we can take VCC ground. We can take our readings in here and we'll get out a nice square wave at that frequency of 1 over 2 RC. Get it? Got it? Good. Let's take a look at the circuit. There is our circuit wired up as we just did in this diagram. Now it needs some power. Op amp needs a negative and a positive rail. Our positive rails, of course, are VCC. In this case, it's going to be 9 volts. 
check out these vintage new old stock ever ready batteries love them ever ready reminds me of my childhood our negative VEE also 9 volts so if you look at the way I have this wired up the positive from VCC goes to our positive rail here the negative goes to this rail which is also connected to the positive of VEE so this is the middle point and the negative of our VEE battery goes down here which is our low voltage point that's connected to four that's connected to eight and Bob's your uncle okay everything is all wired up our circuits ready to go now we can rotate up here and you see I've got the uh, oscilloscope ready so let's zoom in here on the circuit for a second and remember this is an op amp based circuit and op amp means operational amplifier it amplifies a signal it can do it inverting or non-inverting but it's a signal amplifier so if you recall our drawing that charging and discharging of the capacitor is a sawtooth wave so let's probe right there at the capacitor and then let's rotate up and there you can see it that is the charging and the discharging of the capacitor now I'm going to zoom out here hold on just so we can see the whole screen now I'm going to move over and probe the output and voila by creating that voltage divider I'm going to have to rotate that so you guys can see it a little bit there now by creating that voltage divider off of the non-inverting input what we've done is we have squared off our oscillating wave focus in there let me get um, another oscilloscope probe and see if we can't take a look at them both at the same time that could be interesting all right I just zoomed out there so you guys get the whole picture putting another probe on the channel 2 we'll come down here and connect up our grounds and we'll see if we can't get right in there Maybe there and see what happens when we turn on channel 2 I mean something should happen right all right here we go now what have we done this is why I love electronics this stuff is so cool so take a look at the circuit we have now or the waveform we have now the purple is our RC circuit that is that capacitor charging and discharging about the zero volt line but the yellow is our squared off our our schmitted I guess you could call it our schmitted waveform and as you notice it's amplified why because we're using an op amp an amplifier <laughs> that's just so cool I love electronics anyway whoops I dropped my probe I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on making a simple oscillator using an op amp and then messing around with the waveform so if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share hey don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it i'm out peace